Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another video. We have the Open Ultra League. Let's go, my favorite meta. I can't wait. It's going to be different compared to previous Ultra Leagues, just like we saw it with the Great League. So I'm super hyped for it. Let me know in the comments down below, will you be playing the Open Ultra League or will you be playing the Gala Cup Little Edition, which is continuing to go on? For me, 100% Ultra League, but I'm sure none of you are surprised about that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So for the S rank, we got Zygarde Complete. Rank number one, nothing has really changed when it comes to that. Now, I know this Pokemon is super inaccessible. Obviously, something to keep in mind. If you don't have it, if you didn't collect enough cells, you can't use it. I don't have an ideal rank one. It's a terrible rank for Ultra League, but you got to use what you got to use, right? It doesn't really matter on the rank. You you only get one. You just use what you have. Uh, and then we have for Alligator or Shadow for Alligator. I prefer the Shadow one. Uh, the damage is insane here. So I was using Crunch a lot uh, last season, but I, I feel like Ice Beam is actually the way to go, especially in the Great League, but even in the Ultra League, just Ice Beam is just so powerful. Um, yeah, I mean, some matchups, you, you still prefer Crunch, obviously, right? I mean, Giratina, I mean, you're doing super effective damage with Crunch as well as Ice Beam, so I guess that's fine. But there's other ghost types like Dust Noir, uh, you know, and um, uh, Drift Blim that... Um, I guess Crunch would be good, but again, Ice Beam's still good against the Drift Blim and things like that, but yeah, e either way, that is going to be for Alligator, super, super strong, highly ranked, it was not nerfed at all, and then we have Malamar, let's go, so Malamar, top meta in the Ultra League with Psy Wave, it's so good, Psy Wave, Foul Play, super power, now, I have a really good rank one, I don't know why I kept a good rank one, it was labeled rank I don't remember the rank, but I know it's really good. Ultra League, I, I just kept one. I just don't have the XLs for it. So ever since, you know, they announced Malamar was essentially going to be good, and so Wave was getting a boost, uh, and PV Pokey updated and all that, uh, I've been, like, trading my extra Mal uh, Inkays, you know, catching all I saw, and I I'm starting to build... Uh, my XLs uh, on this one, but I'm not going to have it in time for this Ultra League rotation, unfortunately. And then we have Clefable. I actually just caught a relatively decent one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so Clefable gets to Swift so, so, so fast. So fast. And you have Moonblast, but you also have Meteor Mash. Um, do you want Moonblast plus Swift? I feel like that would be the moves that you would want. Um, but Mini Mesh, got, gonna provide decent coverage too, but Swift just, you get to the moves so fast. Uh, it takes four Fairy Winds to get to Swift, which is insane. And then we have Pangor, which is double weak to Fairy, it's also weak to Fighting, so it does have some weaknesses, but it gets to the moves really fast. Night Slash plus clo Close Combat, really, really strong, uh, powerful stuff. I actually just evolved mine, uh, my good rank one. Well, no, for Great League. I actually don't have one for Ultra League, unfortunately, but it's gonna be really good here. Licka Licky, gonna be really good as well with the rollout. Love it, love it. Uh, I don't, another one I don't have a good one of for the Ultra League, so. Uh, I should have enough XLs, but I just don't have a good one for it, so I just kind of keep on grinding. Uh, keep on trading, trying to find one. Kabalian, so Kabalian actually received... Well, it didn't really receive a buff, necessarily. It still has the same movesets that were not nerfed. But uh, because counter is not really relevant anymore, um, it's going to do well because you're not seeing like the Annihilates. You're not seeing the Polyrath. I mean, you'll still you'll still see fighting types like Pangol, but Pangol is weak to fighting as well. Uh, and then you have Machamp, which... It will do well if you happen to battle the Kabalian, but still, that's why Kabalian got a boost. Let's go. Uh, so, uh, moving on to the A rank, we do have Machamp or Shadow Machamp. I prefer the Shadow version of Machamp. But yeah, I mean, it's a double legacy move with Karate Chop and then Stone Edge. Um, I guess you could go Payback, but it would still be a double legacy move anyway. Um, and then we have uh, Cross Chop as well, which received a buff last season or two seasons ago, something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty good Pokemon. Registeel. So Registeel is a good one as well. Even though it was nerfed, right, it's not top, top anymore. Uh, Zap Cannon went from a 66% chance to a 33% chance. They actually dropped it more than I expected, which is a good thing. I thought it would be 50%. But it, I still think it's good because the damage is still there, right? And, you know, it's, it's just still going to hit like a truck. Uh, Reggie Steel still going to be be pretty good. You'll definitely see it in the Ultra League for sure. Not as as or as often, but still a good one. Uh, and then we have Giratina. So uh, yeah, I mean Giratina is to be expected. <laughs> really good Pokemon. We have some more answers to it this season. For example, the Malamar, the Clefable, the Pangoro. So even the Lickalicky. So we, that's why it's not in the S rank like it used to be. But um, yeah, I mean, still going to be pretty good. Uh, and then we have the Regirock. Regirock just gets to the lock-on Stone Edge combination so fast. 
um, it's just it's just a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, Forge is actually pretty cool. So to see it with Fairy Wind, right? The Summoned Voice Moonblast, I think, is the move that you want. It also has Psychic, I believe. I've used this one in the Master Premiere, but it's going to be cool to see it in the Ultra League as well. And then we have Shadow Drapion. So the Poison Sting did receive a slight uh, boost to its attack. Um, and then Aqua Tail Crunch Sludge Bomb. You really could go with honestly any combination uh, you want. It really depends on your team composition. Then we have Dust Noir. Dust Noir does have Astonish plus Shadow Punch, both of which receive buffs. So I do think this Pokemon is going to have some good play in the Ultra League, and I do have one, so I'm excited to try it out as well. Then we have Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is probably going to be the best flying type, in my opinion, uh, in the Ultra League. It also is one in the Great League, like the best one in the Great League. Uh, because Wing Attack was nerfed. I mean, they nerfed like, <laughs> Sky Attack. Uh, well, Sky Attack, I guess, is doing more damage, but it takes more energy now. So Mandibuzz definitely rose up. Uh, nothing was nerfed on Mandibuzz. And then we have the B rank. We do have Steelix. So you don't need Breaking Swipe. Obviously that was nerfed a while ago. But you have Psychic Fangs plus Crunch. And then Dragon Tail is a fast move. Virizion, another really good Pokemon. Uh, Goliath, Weezing. The Brutal Swing did receive a buff as well as Fairy Wind. And then Play Rough or Overheat, whichever nuke move you want. Uh, and then we have Guzzlord. So Guzzlord, when it comes to Guzzlord... PV Pokey recommends um, Sludge Bomb now as well as Brutal Swing. You definitely want the Brutal Swing, no doubt about it, because it's it's just get, getting to it faster than it used to. Um, so it's just just a, a good move. Uh, you, you definitely want Brutal Swing. I mean, well, it's doing more damage. Did it receive an energy generation? I don't actually remember what they did to Brutal Swing. I don't remember, but I know you want Brutal Swing. Uh, and then when it comes to Sludge Bomb, uh, yeah, you could go Sludge Bomb. You know, you don't... Do you really need the Dragon Claw? You have the Dragon Tail damage and then the Brutal Swing. Just just getting to the, the attacks really fast. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Guzzlord going to be really cool to see. Uh, and then we have Gastrodon. Let's go, the best Mud Boy. I am building my XLs. Uh, I actually have a good rank for the Ultra League as well, which I was surprised about. I was checking my, you know, Shell Oz Gastrodon, and I actually do have a good one. And I'm almost enough X I almost have enough XLs. I'm not quite there, but I'm close. Um, and then we have Driplim. Driplim does have Astonish. It has also Icy Wind, Mystical Fire, Shadow Ball. Honestly, any combination would probably work, but you definitely want the Astonish over the Hex now, which is really cool. Definitely one I'm going to try for sure. And then we have Talonflame. We all know what Talonflame. And then Cresselia. Cresselia technically was nerfed with Future Sight, but at the same time, there's some Cresselia that don't even run Future Sight. So if you're running Grass Knight Moonblast, it doesn't really even matter. You're not affected, right? Uh, and the other options, we do have Aurorus. So Aurorus, I mean, nothing buffed, nothing nerfed. It's just going to be a pretty solid pick. And then we have Shadow Skunk Tank. I do like the Shadow version. We have a couple dragons. Gudra, love the Gudra. We also have Como O, uh, and then Dragalge and Dragonite. You know, all these dragon types. Still really good. Uh, really good Pokemon. The, the Gudra and the Dragonite. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely going to be strong. No doubt about it. They just don't compete with Zygarde. Um, which is unfortunate because I know how inaccessible it is. But again, Gudra or Dragonite, I feel like, are definitely really strong. Uh, so you could use uh, one of those. Or two of them if you want to go double dragon, right? And then we have Miltank with roll out. Let's go. So, um, yeah, I mean, we might see this here or there. Probably not too often, to be honest. Tapu Fini. So Tapu Fini uh, did receive a nerf because Surf is going to take longer to get to. Although it is doing more damage. Uh, and then it has Nature's Madness. And then Tentacruel, a Shadow Tentacruel, not really a nerf here. I mean, nothing was was actually nerfed. <laughs> Scold was nerfed last season, but uh, still a really good Pokemon. I love using uh, Tentacruel. Lunavicus, Lunavicus is going to be pretty, pretty uh, fun to use, I think, uh, in this meta. And then we have Skeledurge, uh, and we have Pidgeot or Shadow Pidgeot. If I had a Shadow one, I would go with the Shadow one, but I unfortunately, all the Pidgey Rockets I've done, I have not gotten a good one. Uh, unfortunately, or one that I would want to build. Um, I got one, I don't know. I got like maybe like, I don't know the exact IVs, maybe like a 13, 14, 12 or something. So I guess it's, don't, for being a Shadow, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. So maybe something I'll consider. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the solid team option. So for the first team is a team I used last season and it did incredibly well last couple of seasons to be honest nothing was nerfed here zygarde complete with shadow for alligator and tentacruel i'm using the regular tentacruel uh because i don't have the shadow one for ultra league but yeah i mean great team now i know as we've mentioned zygarde complete is inaccessible you can run another dragon like gudra or dragonite i do think zygarde complete is better but uh you can run it um, there's a slight change. So last season I was running Crunch on Feraligator and then on Tentacruel I was running Blizzard. Uh, I would probably put Ice Beam, uh, on the Feraligator and then you don't need Blizzard on the Tentacruel. Uh, you could go with Sludge Wave. Uh, 
if you're running um, the Shadow One, probably go Acid Spray. But if you're not running the Shadow One, I think I like Sludge Bomb. Or not Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave. But yeah, I'm definitely going to start with this team and see how it goes. Um, I might try different different move combinations from those two, but we'll see. Uh, as I got complete, was running Crunch and Earthquake. I might consider Outrage instead of Earthquake. We'll see. Um, and okay, next team we do have... Okay, a Poison and Fairy type. We do have the Glorian Weezing with the Brutal Swing, the newly buffed uh, Brutal Swing, Guzzlord, and Dusk Noa. So, going to be pretty cool to see how it works. All three of these Pokemon did receive buffs this season. And then we have another team, Pidgeot or Shadow Pidgeot. I'd go with the Shadow one if you have it. Um, and then Kamalian and Virizion, a team that we've seen in the past. I think Hellstuck created this team several seasons ago, a while ago. And I think it's going to be better this season because Kamalian has risen up, right? So I think it's going to be pretty strong. Uh, and then we have another team, Malamite, in the lead with Licka Licky and Drapion. I think um, you could use either one as a safe swap. Probably go with Licka Licky for the most part as a safe swap. But you could run... I mean, Drapion is a pretty good safe swap as well. Um, and then Malamar. Malamar is absolutely going to do so well, I, I think, in this season. I guess it moves really fast with the side wave. I can't wait to finish mine. I can't wait to get the XLs. Again, it's not going to happen in this rotation in the Ultra League, but hopefully soon. Uh, and then next up, we have double fighting type, double karate chop, Machamp, and Pangoro. Now, you need something that can beat fairies, right? Because the back line really, really does not appreciate fairy types. So I put Tentacruel. I guess you could go with Reggie Steel or another Steel type. But the thing is, if you do that, um, then your ABA weak to fighting types like other Machamp, for example, um, if you happen to see it, or Kabalian or something like that. So that's why I put a poison type instead. Uh, and then next up we have, okay, we have Licka Licky in the lead with uh, Double Fairy, Clefa Double Fairy Wind, Clefable, and Florges. Um And yeah, I mean, that might be a better lead. Uh, I put Licka Licky mainly for like Talonflame or Skeledurge. Um, and I guess it would do well against other flyers like Mandibuzz uh, or Pidgeot as well. Um, because obviously the backline does not appreciate fire types for the most part at all, right? <laughs> they don't appreciate them at all. Um, and Steel types... Obviously, kind of going to struggle with. Uh, you could run Earthquake, though, and Licka Licky if you want to. Uh, so you have super effective coverage there. And then Poison types. Backline is not going to like. Again, Earthquake going to do well there. So probably would recommend it on this specific team to run Earthquake. But if you, if you think of a better lead for this team, uh, definitely not, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, these are my initial teams. Let me know what you think. Uh, and let me know what you plan on running. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.